Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, this is April Winchester, J Bell Creations. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And this is Make and Mail Monday. So I um, make a card, I share it. I ask um, that if you would like to join the Make and Mail Monday, all you need to do is comment below. Um, and like the video. Once you have commented and liked the video, you will be entered into a drawing um, for the card. And then the card will be mailed to you or someone of your choosing. If you choose to mail it to somebody else, you do need to have permission to give me their um, address. And what I will do is um, next week, um, at some point, I will comment on your comment, letting you know that you have one. Um, if there's no one who comments, then I'll just choose somebody I know to send it to. If there's only one comment, then it goes to that person. Um, but yeah, I just this is just for fun. I really like making cards and I like mailing them to people. I like brightening people's days. So I just hope um, that you would like to be a recipient of one of my cards. So let's go ahead and get started. This card is, well, let me show you. Here is the card we're gonna make, but we're actually gonna make it a little bit different. And I'm not sure if the lighting is very good for this. Um, it says happy anniversary. The inside says true love stories last forever. Um, we're gonna not make an anniversary card because I'm probably don't, you probably don't want me to mail you an anniversary card. But if you decide you do and you're the winner, I will send this one to you. Um, so we're going to set this aside. We're going to make the same basic card. We're just going to change the sentiments a little bit. So this is the brand new Elegantly Said stamp set. This actually, there's a whole suite. Comes with um, the stamp set. It comes with a punch. Um, it comes with some specialty paper, which has like gold and copper in it. Maybe silver too. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, and it comes with some um, simply elegant trim. Um, I think that's it that comes in it. Um, so, anyways, yeah. I am. Um, when I first saw this, I wasn't really sure about it. Um, and then I said, you know what? First of all, <laughs> I need anniversary stuff, and this. You know, I, I have of a few anniversary stamps, but these just felt to me like, um, well, elegant, um, that you could use them for like anniversaries. Um, that, which is why I, the first thing that I made with this was the anniversary card. I have a lot of people who actually ask for anniversary cards and I just never really know what to do or have anything that I feel like is appropriate for anniversary. So I think this is going to be a great set for that. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember that my dimensions will be um, listed below in the um, description of this video and also on my blog. I do not, um, oh, look at this stuff. I do not um, usually say them in my video. If you want me to, I guess you could comment and let me know that and then I can try to start doing that. So I have a half sheet of basic black and I'm going to fold it in half. This is my card base use my bone folder to uh, crease it well. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. I then have a uh, small panel of basic black. I have a piece of, um, well to be honest with you, this is I think this is the brushed metallic cardstock in gold. Um, I don't believe the brushed metallic is available anymore, but we do have a gold um, foil, which is basically the same. It's just going to not have this these brush strokes, but I'm out of gold foil, so I need to get some. So I decided to use this. So as you can see, I cut out the center. I actually already cut this strip out. Um, I just cut out the center. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just cut out the center of this. Um, if you want to know how to do that, let me know and I will make a video to show you how to do that. Um, so there's that, that is a panel. This black panel will go on top of that and you won't even see the hole. And then 
part of that centerpiece I cut down so that we can use it with the punch. I have a sh strip of black to use with the punch. And then I have a um, vanilla, very vanilla panel for the inside. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my um, black piece right here. And actually I'm going to move, nope, we'll just leave this here for now. Um, yes, I'm sorry, I need to think. We're gonna move this. I have mounted um, the large piece. I'm gonna call it a, co a corner piece because it really it fits well in the corners. But if I have mounted this large piece onto my block and I'm gonna use Versamark um, to stamp this because we're going to emboss. And actually, real quick, I'm gonna grab my embossing buddy. We do not have these available anymore, but you can easily find these um, at other craft stores online or even in person. All right, so got my Versamark. I'm going to um, do this on the side and off to the ed off the edge a little bit, up in the left hand corner, and then again down in the right hand corner. All right. And while I have the Versamark out, um, no, actually, we'll do that after because I need to punch that. So <clears throat> here's this. Now I am also out of the gold embossing powder from Stampin' Up! So I have some old kind of a different brand that we're going to use, but you can certainly use whatever you have. I'm waiting for my order. Oh, I'm waiting for my order to come that has the gold in it. All right, so pretend this is gold. It's actually an, a, like an antique gold. Not quite the color I wanted to use, but it will work. All right, so we'll just go ahead and put it all over the card. You can see it um, catches quite nicely onto the Versamark because the Versamark is sticky. And then I'm just going to try to brush off as much of that loose extra. The embossing buddy should have helped more with that, but I guess I didn't use it enough. And my fingers probably have oils on them, which isn't helping. There, that's much better. All right, now I'm gonna set this aside so that I can get this back into my container. All right, now we can emboss. I'm gonna let this heat up for a second before I take it to my cardstock. And then you'll see that as it heats, it melts and you can see the really intricate, beautiful design. You don't need to stay in one place for too long, especially once you see that it's melted. Don't stay, it will eventually burn if you, if you stay there too long. And then I'm just gonna go on the back to um, help with any warping that was going on. I'd rather it warped this way than the other way. Usually it doesn't warp that bad, but. All right, so there's that piece. I'm gonna go ahead and set this piece aside. Now we're going to take our um, piece that we had cut from the middle. Like I said, I cut I cut a large piece from the middle and then I ended up cutting it down. Um, I do that so that we can save on this. I do it to paper sometimes too, but especially on the foils um, because I, I just think it saves the paper and it saves money. So 
Um, the punch, typically, you would put this in the punch like this. And you would punch. I actually made that a little not not quite wide enough, but that's okay. But I don't want to do that because then I would get this shape. And I actually want both of these scrolly, both my ends to be this like scrolly thing that you see here. So I'm going to feed this through the back side. And then I'm just gonna line this up to the, the best that I can. So it's fairly straight and punch. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Feed it through the best that I can. And line it up. Fairly straight. Punch. And then I'm just going to uh, make sure that will fit nicely and little bit longer than I actually want. Um, so I'm going to put it through and punch one more time. But it might be too hard to get it through now that I've punched it. Getting all those little pieces through there could be difficult. Yeah, it's proven a little difficult. So we're just going to leave it this size. That's fine. And it doesn't matter. It can be this size. Okay, so that piece is done. These could even be used as um, a little bit of decorative, um, you know, pieces if you wanted to. I'm going to now use the black piece. And the black piece, I'm going to do the opposite. I want to go to this end. And I want to line that up straight as possible and punch so that I have a curved rounded end. And I want it to fit on here. I'm gonna trim that off and then go ahead and put this in. Line it up the best that I can. And cut and I'm, I know I'm gonna have to punch that a few times I wasn't really sure where to cut and I didn't want to cut it too short so that's the only thing is this is still really new to me so I've, I've got to kind of like play around with it a little bit more um, where are you home? I gotta tell you I must have terrible eyesight because I'm not seeing. There it is. All right. And I think I'm going to have to do this twice. So I'm just going to do it twice while I'm here. Well, maybe not. Sorry, this is taking forever. I didn't realize it would take that long. Willikers. I did not have this much trouble feeding it through when I made my other my original card. Okay, this there we go. There, hopefully that is a good size. Yes, it's a little bit smaller than I want for this whole thing, but it, it'll work just fine. Like I said, I actually wanted this piece to be shorter too, but I couldn't feed it back through. So we're gonna go ahead and um, stamp on this black piece and I'm gonna stamp for you on this in my Versa mark. And hopefully I can stamp it straight. There we go. Then once again I'm gonna go ahead and use the embossing powder and I didn't use the embossing buddy on this first so I might regret that it doesn't look too bad all right let's go ahead and get this powder into our little jar 
and then we can heat emboss it <clears throat> as far as the heat my heat gun my fingers are pretty close to it and uh I don't want to burn my fingers so all right perfect all right so now we can go ahead and oh let's um stamp the inside of our card real quick so here's um the very vanilla and inside i'm going to put wishing you a wonderful birthday and i'm going to do that with stays on black because i want it to be nice and crisp and bold There, wishing you a wonderful birthday. All right, now we can put our card together. I have um, the base. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the frame. And I'm just using my seal. And we'll line that up. Usually if you line it up on three sides, it's pretty lined up with the other side. Then I'm going to um, use seal on this piece. And I'm gonna put quite a bit on here. I really want this um, piece to be uh, nice and flat. So then I'm going to line this up um, so that there's an even amount of gold around it. And I can't like really stick it down yet because I don't want to kind of be stuck. All right. Now I'm going to adhere this piece to here using my seal. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of here. I'm just, I got a ton of minis, so I'm just gonna try to use up a bunch of minis. And right now I'm using up these edge pieces. Just gonna put some of the minis on these little ends to help hold those down as well. All right, we'll take the backing off, set it aside, and grab our gold trim. I'm going to loosely, with all four fingers, um, wrap it around a couple times probably like four times I think I did cut it and then um, I want it to be pretty loose and then bring it in in the center oops kind of lost it there all right and I brought it in in the center there I'm going to put some seal in the center and then I'm going to just go ahead and put these pieces down and I kind and I want them to be messy like this that was my goal okay now you can put this over the top And my card is complete. Oh, ah, thought it was complete. <laughs> I totally forgot about the inside. That's okay, we can do it real quick. It's already stamped, so all we gotta do is add some seal and add her inside. 
And I used um, very vanilla because I felt like it's a little more subtle than white. I felt like white would be way too stark um, with the color combination that we have going on here. So this is for you. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. And my other one, again, was happy anniversary. True love stories last forever. Everything that I used here, minus the, the card stocks, um, came from the Simply Elegant Suite. Um, so links will be below for my shop and for all of the supplies that you've seen here. Well, minus the ones that aren't Stampin' Up, but I will put the Stampin' Up supplies below. Um, and remember to comment. If you comment and like on this particular, on this video inside the YouTube platform um, by Sunday midnight Eastern Standard Time, I will um, enter you into a drawing to have one of these cards mailed to you. And you can just let me which know which one you want. Thank you so much for watching.